Morning, folks. How are we doing back here again with Chantal and Sala? This one is gym, dinner, and date night couple vlog. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm, I'm so just like I, I, I just, just literally just recorded the Amberlynn Reed video, and it was terrible, and it was like not at all fun. And I, I came here, and I was like, I just want to get straight into this because these are always fun and kind of weird and kind of dumb. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually kind of excited for this one. Uh, I'm going to put it up to 1.25 speed, as always, and we're just going to get straight into it. No fanning around. Let's go. Oh, that's loud. That's loud. God's sake. Why? Why? What is with her fucking audio? Hello. Welcome back oh. to our vlog. BMI so push. what I'm about to show you is some... Date night... Hijab. What? What a way to start. So you just took, like... I so someone else's art, I assume. You have date night, like weirdly. She must have made this art because it's like pretty bad to start with. Um, also, like you'd expect if this was someone else's art, the date night would be like centered, you know, but it's not. It's all the way over to the left and it seems to be over to the left so she can goofily write hijab and draw a scribbled hijab over the girl's head. Uh, I, I, like if you're if you're gonna try and make this girl look like you and you out of the hijab, maybe she's just out like a gun, like resting up on the table or something like that as well. You know, if we're gonna if we're trying to make that an accurate caricature of yourself. Footage from uh, when we went out to eat most recently. We oh, like to try so to go excited. out at least once a week for a treat. We work hard all week at the gym. No, you don't. I've seen the size yet. What are you at? Stop it. Well, guys, you know, once a week we try and spoil ourselves here, bro. You you show me your fucking your your meals for for the breaking of Ramadan. You you should you started your vlogging series by fucking going to Burger King and getting fucking chips and like a double chicken royale or some bullshit like that, dude. Let's not start by saying like, okay, sometimes we like to go out and spoil ourselves because we're we're so good the rest of the week. Fuck off. So we try to get out. We do like to go to the movies okay. as well. And we do a lot of things for these vlogs too. So you do like to go to the movies, yeah. You do seem to like to go to the movies, but you never seem to like do any movie reviews. The last movie I remember her reviewing was Megan. And it was like kinda of crappy. It was like, oh my god, guys, it's like kind of scary. I'm scary guys. Uh enjoy our video. Oh, and I tried to make this cartoon character a hijabi, but as you can see, yeah, I it turned out very uh horribly. It did turn out very horribly. My qu question, okay, so apparently she didn't draw it then. She tried to make it a hijabi. Like, why didn't you just use, like, a solid color? Like, a thicker pen and just do a solid color? Um, also, like, did you need to make the character have a hijab on? If we're if just being honest with ourselves, like, I get, like, it's, like, 90% of your personality now. But, like, I don't know. Like, if, if I saw, like, if I if I was picking, like, a cartoon to represent, like, me, me and Mrs. Potato were going on a fucking date here, I wouldn't be like, hey... That guy's wearing jorts. I don't wear jorts, and I would try and draw some fucking like jeans onto him or something like that. I, I, I would just be, I would just show the picture. I wouldn't be like, this has to accurately represent what I'm wearing. I don't know. I just find that a bit silly. Um, the, the thing I find most distracting about it is why is the H capital, the A capital, and the B capital, but the I and J are lowercase. Why, why, why are you doing that, bro? That just get that. That's more distracting than anything. But you get the idea. Hello, guys. So this is my food today. God, Sally, you're. Fucking barely louder than the air conditioning and also the sizzler plate. Holy shit, have you got your Mountain Dew again? There you go, you're a good old gamer, 14 year old. Uh, I order a rice. Oh my god. See, that sounds nice. Thank you. Oh my god. Ch Chantal, are you watching my channel? Hi, Chantal. Oh my god. Because you finally described what something fucking is. That's all I've wanted. All I wanted is when someone says, I am eating this food. It's to let us know what the fuck it is. That looks nice. Just a picture. Yeah. I'm often uh, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your. I love. Shut up! Don't you enjoy my husband? I love you. It's just I guarantee she's gonna say it. that face. That is like the 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 correct expression for him looking at her and knife. He's like, yes. <laughs> I love, I love she had to be like, guys, this is our, our date night because we do like to go out and splash out because we work so hard and, you know, we, we eat so well. And then it's like, it's, bro, it's just some kebabs and like some fucking meat in a pita. It's really, it's not like you went to Burger King and ordered three Whoppers. Like, even this isn't like ridiculous food. I'm sorry. It's not like ridiculous. It's a large portion. Yeah, but it's, it's not like ridiculous food. We all know you eat shit. Stop it. Stop acting like this is your, your cheap meal. Thank you, honey. You too. And 
I love you, honey. Yes, honey. I also love you. Oh, thank you, honey, for affirming my love to you, honey. Uh, honey, I would affirm my love to you at any time. God, what? You guys have had months to practice fake chemistry, and you're still this bad. What's your food, honey? I'm having chicken spring rolls. I Please tell me this isn't all she's pretending to eat. Please tell me this isn't all she's pretending to eat. That is a thick old spring roll. Like, when she's got a big meaty paws a hand, that's a big-ass fucking spring roll. Basmati rice, butter paneer masala. Okay. Yum? No? Oh, it's so romantic. He's pouring her diet coke for her. <laughs> and who said? And who said true love is dead? <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking cringe. Uh, yeah, is this is seriously her pretending. This is like, oh my god, it's my cheat meal, guys. And it's just like, like well, Millie, it's like three people's worth of fucking rice. But it's it's just like it's like rice on a paneer, and it's like I used to see you eat like two paneers a night. How the fuck are you acting like this is a cheat meal? Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, sweetie. No problem, sweetie. It, I'm, it, it's like it's not even close to romantic. It's like he's he's pouring your coke for you. That's it. Wow. Even I'm wet. Oh, thank God. I've got to see him pour his own mountain dew. <laughs> Could you not have got something nicer? You know, like, uh, like, because I remember in my last time I was talking about these two, and I said, you know, I got a beer. And then, yeah, someone came out and said, uh, bro, q it's dry country. And I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Because, like, I, I know a lot of Muslim countries are dry countries, but they also aren't dry countries, you know. Uh, there are places to get alcohol, but they're, like, it's quite, like, limited places you can get it. Um, but like, okay, sweet, okay. Alcohol-free country. Yep, sweet, whatever. I, I I wouldn't sit down to have my big Indian food and, and be like, I'm going to have a Mountain Dew. I wouldn't, I, it's, Mountain Dew I wouldn't connect with like high dining at all. I would get like, I don't know, I, I'm trying to think, like a, a non-alcoholic beer, a non-alcoholic wine, something like that. Uh, I, I'd be more likely to drink milk with it than a Mountain Dew. Uh, I'm sure there's other things, there's like slurs, uh, the, the Vimto like they showed earlier on. There's a whole bunch of other like drinks you could get. Mountain Dew just wouldn't be my like go-to. Also, if, if it's a dry country, why is there a wine glass? Like, it's kind of like a wine glass there. Why is there an extra glass? I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. It's probably for the water, to be fair. Like, I get that. But I'm just, you know, I'm just speculating conspiracy theory. Oh, my God. It's even more romantic. He put her fucking straw in. And she had his straw for some reason. What the... F Does she not realize that this isn't, like, romantic in any way? Is this, like, the level of romance? That's like... Because they're not really talking or doing anything during this date night. It's just like, oh, yeah, I'll pour your Pepsi. Oh, right, here's a straw. Oh, okay. Here, here's a straw back. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm fucking bone dry suddenly. Like, I'm, I'm chafing sitting still. Thank you. You're welcome. Did he just drop his fucking, like, that on top of the, 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 the um, nan bread? <laughs> Let's begin. How are you deep breathing? You're sitting still. <laughs> he looks like a serial killer. Bro, someone really needs to remind Salah about lighting, because in this type of lighting, he just looks like a fucking serial killer. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so fucking silly. I'm sorry. There's no way I'm looking at Salah and thinking he is eating, because that is substantially more food than she has. No. N just no. You showed us one of the three paneers you're eating, Chantel. No, I'm sorry. He is not eating all this more food than you. That is that is so silly. All right, I'm going to attempt to make dinner. Different day, lol. Let 100% she's watching my videos. 100% she's watching my fucking videos because I made the joke in the last one that because she didn't show us when it was changing days and all, I just assumed that everything she had eaten was in one day. I made that joke 100%. Chantel, you're watching my fucking videos. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> you know what, Chantel, if you want any more tips and advice, uh, I, I, I could certainly help you. Uh, my DMs on Twitter, they're open. Shoot me a DM. I'll give you more information. Like, uh, fill them more closed restaurants. <laughs> um, I don't fucking know. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, God. Yes, I'm so happy with that. Uh, yeah, let's go. This evening, have yeah. a dinner for us before we go to the gym. Okay. But first, I'm going to remove my wedding ring so it doesn't get all damaged. How the fuck are you going to damage your wedding ring? Like, 
I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm sure. I'm sure some people are like really bad at like at doing anything and they can damage your wedding. But how can you damage your wedding if you're, all you're gonna do is like, chop some tomatoes? Like, like in, in no way should the knife be any way close to your like ring finger on your weak hand. But uh, now I'm just cutting up some tomatoes to make some uh, dakus, and okay. it's a tomato, roasted tomato, and garlic. Do you want to maybe get a bigger knife? The, the, the knife is nearly as long as a fucking tomato. I, I, I just. I'm going to make a healthy dinner before we go to the gym. Like, how late at night are you going to the gym? That just seems kind of weird. Like, I, I get it, I guess, because you can't drink water during Ramadan. So, I guess you have to do it after you're breaking. Breaking? Jesus, that was... There's some mighty fine English. To be fair, my English is generally poor anyway, so forgive me. Um, since you've broken Ramadan, so I guess it does make sense. But you just think that if they're going after the broken Ramadan, that's when everyone would be going to the gym, right? Like, yeah, that's that should have been busier. Because, like, when he went, there was, like, two or three people uh, in the entire gym that we saw. Like, surely everyone should be going to the gym after the break of Ramadan if they're going to drink water. Wouldn't that make sense? So why is it so empty? Like, so... I would imagine, like, everyone would go kind of, like, half six to ten o'clock, like, uh, you know, after Ramadan's been broken and they were able to work out. A lot of people probably would break Ramadan by drinking and they'd work out while still fasting because that's a good way to burn calories. And then afterwards get a big meal to, like, reward themselves with the gym. That, see, that's how I'd probably do it. I guarantee they wait until everyone else has gone to the gym and they go at, like, fucking 2 a.m. in the morning. Or maybe they go at, like, 3 or 4 a.m. Because isn't, like, the last time you can eat, like, half four in the morning? I bet they go right, it, it, that's if they do actually still go, is like right before Ramadan starts again. So they can go to the gym, walk on the treadmill for five minutes, and then uh, on their way back, pick up a lot of food and eat, 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 eat all their fucking nashies and pizzas and all before, right before Ramadan starts again. There you go, that's my theory. Um, sauce. So I'm going to be roasting the tomatoes. I'm just cutting them up in chunks now so that I can put them in the oven. That was the awkwardest way I've ever seen you cut a fucking tomato. Did she lift that to show the camera to be like, see guys, I didn't mess up cutting it. I here here's the, the stocky bit. It, is that why she did that? It's just like it's just such an awkward way to cut up fucking tomatoes. Are you gonna fix that? I've never seen someone cut up a tomato like that. You're not gonna fix that? No? All right. And no? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm not, I, how, how much of this, uh, this video is going to be in the gym? I, am I going to have to start doing, go to the fucking gym again? What, what, <laughs> that was like 30 seconds of cutting a fucking tomato. <laughs> I was like, bro. I, 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 oh, God. This is, good. This, this is like already a fucking train wreck. How long? I'm fucking like 30 minutes into this recording. Three minutes in. It's been a good video. Now I'm going to put the tomatoes on some foil. You can use a baking sheet. Yeah. But I just use foil. <laughs> so I'm actually going to place them um, skin side up. Well, how are you going to do that for like and those ones that don't have skin? I'm going to you cut them so weirdly. Olive oil and some salt and pepper and just place them in uh, on the in the broiler. In the, Under on the, the, broiler, on the broiler, I should say. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk to you. Like, this is like... A, a recorded thing you're not doing this live you could have just fixed that like i get you're going for the whole like oh my god i'm so quirky thing but like uh yeah maybe maybe just like re-record that that just makes you sound stupid today uh on low the low side of the broiler you know how it comes like hot uh, high and low you know what guys you, i'm gonna put it under low heat you know where there's like low heat and then there's like higher heat i'm gonna go lower heat because i'm not i don't want to go higher heat so i'm going low heat it's like like, you fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm going to leave the house. Uh, by leave the house, I mean I'm not going to be inside the house anymore, which is where I was before I left. However, by leaving, it means I go out of the house, which means I'm no longer in the house. It, it sounded like that. I'm going to put them on low. Thanks for saying low again. So I'm going to make a couple of fish fillets. I'm going to try to make them in the air fryer. Okay. I'm sprinkling some lemon on it. I've noticed. This fish is called hamor. And yeah, I'm just gonna put some lemon first to help the spices stick. Jesus Christ. And I'm gonna add a bunch of spices. Curry powder, garlic powder, That's a lot of curry powder, powder. paprika, black chili powder, Jesus uh, coriander, fuck. cumin, Jesus. just like... Do you want any fish with your spices? Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is a fucking lot. Jesus. Okay, that's only one side. I wonder if she's gonna remember to do both sides. Well, that's only like one side. That is 
That's a lot of contrasting flavors all stuck together in just like a, a massive heap. Pretty much all of my spice rack goes on fish because I hate when fish tastes like fish, if that makes any sense. So I Then why eat it? Like, I, I get you're trying to pretend to be healthy. Then why eat it? There's a, a lot of different things. Also, like, like I, I don't know. If fish really tastes like super fishy, it's probably not great quality fish. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I'll, fish tastes like a lot of different things. Like, you should be able to eat like a haddock and a cod and be able to taste the difference in them. You, you shouldn't just be like, oh, it tastes like fish. You should be able to taste the difference in, in them. Not even how they're prepared, just in general. Like, you know, like a salmon tastes different than a mackerel. A mackerel tastes different than a tuna. It, it all should taste very fucking different. I don't know. Why. People are always weird about fish. Like, my brother was weird about fish for like ages and ages. ages. Like, my other brothers got liked it, but like, he he really just didn't like fish until we went to Japan. And then we had like really well prepared fish, uh, and he loved it because he could tell the difference between all the different types of fish. But like, I don't know. I just find it so weird since I was like, I don't like fish. So I just blanket it under just like a, a pile of flavor so I don't taste the fish. It's like, that's probably bad <laughs> it's probably bad just eat something else that you actually enjoy uh also there are calories in like the things she's putting in not a huge amount but there are calories like in curry powder and all those calories i have to have it really spiced and then i'm gonna just rub the seasonings on it i've never wanted to see her wet fingers rubbing fish because it gives me like a really fucked up mental image and i uh i'm never gonna recover from this moment in my life am i nope yeah i hope you guys all got the mental image too because i don't want to suffer alone all over that. Oh god, I just suddenly remembered she doesn't like the taste of fish. I was about to make a DD joke and RB sandwich. Am I better than that? I'm better than that, guys. I'm gonna leave that to you guys to make that joke in your head. I'm better than that. I'm not, but still. Fish. And yeah. then I'm just going to Look at um, it. Look at it. Add some salt and pepper as well. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> god, she's, she's really got the awkward finger action going like it's not like a it's not like a two finger thing. She's not doing little little, little rubs, you know. She's just like kind of dragging her mitt over the entire thing. The little pinky fingers just kind of just following along. It's on the journey too. It's not really doing anything, but it's just there. It's it's having fun. <sighs> god to mention that and i'm just going to flip it over and uh do the other sides with the uh there's plenty of spices there to go around sure so uh just there's not like i'm sorry if you think that is as spiced as like that that you're you're high you're you're, you're fucking high <laughs> that's, that's why i said i wonder if she's gonna remember to post this like you didn't <laughs> you gotta just get uh fuck it i'll do a half ass smear on the on the bottom adding a bit of some more salt on the back and here. then i'm going to put some foil why did why did you talk over yourself why did you talk over yourself? You, you, this is pre-recorded. She talked over herself. She's done that a couple times now in these pre-recorded sections. How the fuck do you even manage that? I don't even know how you'd manage that. The recording system I use would not even let me do that unless I opened a new fucking audio track. How the fuck do you do that? Oil in the air fryer and I will place the fish side by side. I had just enough room. I was happy. I didn't think I would uh, have any room. I'm also uh, putting a... a... A lot of butter in. Like a lot, a lot of butter in. Like, air frying. Most people like air fry to make it healthier. They don't like fucking slather it in fucking butter first. I have a couple of thin slices of butter on the fish. It'll help brown it nicely and not burn the spices. Um, am I stupid? Wasn't there three pieces of fish on that plate? Am I dumb? I need to go back and check. 451. Or was that just like one really big bit? Because I assumed that was a split in the middle of it. When she was doing that. Am I wrong? Oh no, that's just one really big bit. Okay. Okay. That makes more sense. I, I Sorry, I, I confused myself there. All right. So the roasted tomatoes are done. A little overdone. Yeah. But they'll still be fine. They and won't. I'm just going to... Tomatoes are gross, by the way. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say to anyone who likes tomatoes, tomatoes are gross. I don't get you. I don't understand you. Tomatoes suck. Cherry tomatoes can be possible, but ch tomatoes in general suck. Roast tomatoes, like baked tomatoes, everything I like got, they all suck. Um, tomato sauce and pizza is like one of the, the few acceptable uses of tomatoes. Uh, but even then, if I'm given the option of tomato or like a garlic or a pepper, uh, like a barbecue base, I will 100% pick the barbecue or the garlic base over tomato base. There you go. I've said it. You can all you can all cry and cope and see. <laughs> place them in my chopper or processor with two cloves of fresh raw garlic. Yep. This is an amazing... 
this is just it's just so gross <laughs> it's just so gross i love the processors just piled here with just a bunch of shit just a bunch of shit here just by the big dirty fucking wall it's just it's really gross it reminds me of like Kay's cooking <laughs> it reminds me of like Kay's cooking because it's just like gross she ne even Kay didn't really have any space on how to fucking do anything why is there like the wire from the processor is going like b b by the sink it's i don't know it's just like no I, all this looks bad the processor it really really works very well and very quickly and it was i'm sorry it's just like your point is like it's like it's like the am splitting thing. You're telling us like you guys, you can put tomatoes and garlic in a processor and it makes like a tomato garlic sauce. It's like, yeah, you can. I think everyone knew that, but okay, thanks. Very affordable too, as well. So oh I'm my just god! Gonna blend that. All right, so I'm gonna make some rice. And that is the thinnest, watery ass looking fucking onion I have ever seen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start doing it, guys. Get to the fucking gym! Holy shit! We're over halfway through this and we haven't even got to the fucking gym yet. It, it, it's seriously, is her like, teaching you how to cook? And the, the, the cooking is like, I I, I get some tomatoes and I, I put them on the, the, the oven for a while. And then I put them in a blender uh, to make like a tomato sauce. It's like, okay, cool. And it's like, oh yeah, I have some fish. I just, I just sprinkle a bunch of shit. I'm not going to weigh it or anything or measure it out. It's just like, I'm just going to sprinkle a bunch of shit. And I'm just going to like rub it on the fish. Yeah, guys, there you go. I'm going to then put it in the air fryer. I don't even think she told us like how long she put it in the air fryer for or anything like that. <laughs> it's just like, why are you showing us all this? You're, it's not like you're actually teaching us anything. First thing I'm going to do is fry some very thinly sliced onions. Yeah, watery ass onions. In uh, the oil before I add the rice. So I'm just frying the onions. I want them to be brown like this. I want them to be like fried onion taste. Like black? And not caramelized onion taste. So now I'm going to add the rice, basmati, long what? grain rice. It should have been soaking first. I forgot to. I was in a hurry. Yeah, it should have been. So did she just put some dry rice into oil? Like, like hot oil that's cooking onions? Did she... Because that's not going to cook the rice right, is it? Like, because you have to add water to, like, rice. You have to, like, these least have soaked it first. So, did you just actually just put dry rice straight into, like, oil? That's not going to work, is it? So, just cook it with a bit more liquid and a bit longer. So, I'm going to just stir that around, let it toast a bit. And then I'm going to add some saffron and water to okay. the pot. And just let it mix. I'm also adding one chicken maggi stock. It's like chicken stock. And I'm yeah. going to let that dissolve. And I'm going to add some more water, cover the rice, and I'm going to actually cover the pot with some foil. I find it helps steam the rice a lot better than just putting the lid. Uh, I think the, the lid should be airtight, so like the foil shouldn't do better. <laughs> I, I, I like containing the, the liquid. I, I, I've never seen someone cook rice like that before. I, I could be the one that's entirely wrong. Like I'm, I'm happy to admit that. Most people I see making like a, a, like a, like a kind of a fried rice, like would generally like cook the rice first, like, you know, and, 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 and like, cook it most away at the very least, and then, you know, fry it. Uh, less steam escapes, I should say. And let it cook till it's tender. Why did the fuck did you put the lid on now? Now, that, now you've just added, like, an extra barrier? All right, and here is the finished iftar meal for okay. before the gym. So we have the air fryer fish. It actually turned out better than I thought. The one thing I'm going to notice... Is it good? Okay, this is the rice she's claiming to have cooked. Okay, cool. Uh, apart from it looks very similar to like the rice like her neighbor brought her before for for iftar. There's no onions in it. That is anyone else noticing that? There's like no onions in it. Like like the onions she had were like nearly black. They were like you know beyond being crispy onions. They were nearly burnt. There's no onions in this whatsoever. Like, I, I, this isn't the rice she made. 100% this is not the rice she made. There's no fucking onions in there. It was really good and tender inside. Here's the uh, dakus. It could be a little thinned out more. I should have added a bit more water, but the flavor was on point. And, of uh -huh. course, I have my mandatory yogurt, my salad, if you can call it that. <laughs> She's watching my videos because I took the piss out of that salad before being it is bro, it is just cut cucumbers and tomato. She is Chantel. Comment, I will like and I'll, I'll, I'll heart and I will pin your comment. Um, <laughs> holy shit, it's so obvious. She's definitely watching other people's reactions to this. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm memeing about her watching mine. I'm, I'm a tiny channel. She's obviously not watching mine. But it's 100% she is watching other people talking about this. Because she is addressing points people are bringing up as negatives. 
<laughs> and of course a plate of olives there you go and of course first i yeah. start my iftar with uh some dates yum what is with the the yums like i said the yums have been mid-tier I am so disappointed. Did she stop because I was making fun of the yums? I'm getting I'm I'm getting conspiracy theory here. But yep, gym time, guys. We've got three minutes to go out of this ten minute video. Time for the gym. Let's go. There's water and earphones today. That's it. Quick work. Did you bring enough echo for the class there, love? Go. <laughs> so everyone keeps their shoes outside their apartment here, so we keep them in this little Do they? That's weird. Like, I get it's cultural. That's weird. I wouldn't trust that. I wouldn't trust leaving my shoes outside in, in, in like, a communal box. Uh, no. <laughs> Just no. Just the fuck that. Fuck, fuck, fuck people. No. Shoe house. My boots from Canada. <laughs> so, I am finding it very awkward. I'm just, I'm just sitting there looking around here, trying to see if there's, like, anyone else in, like, the blurred out parts, and there doesn't seem to be and difficult to film at my gym uh -huh. it's so much easier for Salah but because women have more privacy here in oh, Kuwait, one person. it's so hard to film at the all women's gyms so I'm not sure how much more I'm going to do and it's just so, okay so you just so you so you quit no you are not doing 45 kilograms stop it you were not doing 45 kilograms was that the arm curl sorry was that the arm curl of it oh no <clears throat> sorry I was just dying there a wee bit uh it, 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 it's, this is just her saying she's not doing it anymore, isn't it? This is just her just saying she's not doing it anymore. Like, I'm, you, you could just be honest and just say, I don't want to, I'm not gemming anymore. But of course, she can't be honest because she's a pathological liar, narcissist, all that kind of stuff. But it's like, bro, like, j come on. You're finding it hard to film, are you? There doesn't really seem to be like anyone around. I've seen one person in the background, and that that's it. And you're, you're, you're blurred it out. There, there you go. It's It's that simple at the all women's gyms. So I'm not sure how much more I'm going to do. And it's just weird and awkward for me to hold the camera. And I mean, I can't put the camera okay. stand and drop. Okay, like I, I thought she was trying to pretend she's doing 45 kilograms and uh, at least she moves it up a lot. Draw all the attention to me. So I'm just gonna show you a little. Draw all the attention to you? I'm sorry, there's like three people in the entire fucking world. Like, stop it. Clips when I can, but um, yeah, that's all I can show. It doesn't mean I'm not doing any workout. It yeah, just means it does. that it does. I literally cannot show you much. So you get the idea. I'm at the gym. I'm working out. <laughs> you, you guys get the idea. Come on, like guys. Come on. I roll. Uh, obviously, I'm at the gym. Obviously, I'm working out. Okay, Chantal. And I wish I could show you more, but you? I can't. So. So now I'm all ready to go home, and as you can see, I'm a little hot from the exercise, but it's all good. Why are you filming like this? Why is your camera so close that it's covering fucking half your face? What? what? Like, is this her trying to show off her new phone? Is is that what she's trying to do? I'm assuming that it's the only reason I can think of because like she's like hiding behind her camera. It's weird. Oh my god, we're at the fucking. <laughs> We got the fucking rock music and all playing. Uh, is this him thinking he's a like, cool? Who's like? Try to remember, guys. Seeing how slow he's running here, this is at one point two five times speed. That I am showing him running faster than he actually is. This is pathetic. This is like a light fucking jog, and they're trying to be like, whoa, sweeping angles. So does he has like a friend there filming him for him, or is it Chantel? Like they're like recording for him because I, I I know like it's female only gyms, but are there like male only gyms like? Can, can Chantal go there as his camera woman? Oh my god, it's so cringe. Okay, it's, it's so cringe. Speed 10, so that's going to be 10 kilometers per hour. So like not very fast fucking at all. Especially because he's done like... Oh god, I, I hate the way they do it. I'm assuming this is going to be in kilometers too. So like a quarter of a kilometer in 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Which means he only recently put up the speed because if you're doing like 10 kilometers per hour, you should be doing a, a lot faster than that. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god, I'm so fucking goofy looking. 
<laughs> Why are you doing like incline sit-ups with a weight to help when you have like no core whatsoever already? You just look really awkward doing that. Uh, his legs are fairly locked up. He looks like he's pulling himself up a lot. He's very jerky movement. There's no like natural like curl to his movement. He is just like jerking. It is like he he's not pivoting at the core. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna have to. I feel like I'm gonna have to slow down. I'm, I was like fully slouched back in my chair. Then I had to recorrect myself because I feel like I'm gonna have to kind of do this here. Okay. He is. See the way he's just pivoting at his waist. He. he it's not like his, his his core. He's not like pulling himself up with his core because obviously when you do sit ups, you're like curling more. You aren't just like flipping yourself up like like a, like a fucking door opening and closing. You know, you're you, you're not. Like when when you're doing setups, your the pivot shouldn't be your hips. It should be your core because you're using your core. You're compressing your core muscles. You're contracting them, and you're pulling yourself up. You're curling yourself up, and that is the range of movement that helps. He is pivoting at the hips. <laughs> it's why I said his legs are being used to pull himself up. He is just straightening himself. He is just flapping up and down at the hip. It's not really core related too much. Uh, it's just it's it's just, it's why it looks so awkward. It's why it looks like he's being very jerky when he's doing it because he's not really doing it like naturally whatsoever. Uh, the weight is also like it's like a, a five kilogram weight. It's literally no weight whatsoever. Um, it's just kind of cringe. Like the, he's he, he very much comes across like a dude who's trying to look cool as opposed to like be cool. Like he he should be starting at the basics. If he if he is if it's actually like a health and fitness journey for him and he's actually taking this seriously, he should be doing this like seriously. Um, he, he clearly isn't, though. See? He is just jerking. Like, see, see the way his, like, his, leg, his uh, feet were twisting right at the end there? It's because he is, like, pulling himself up entirely with his legs. It's, it's, a, it's really bad, really embarrassing. God, just stop. Uh, I love this person's, like, a ninja. Like, they're always able to get the perfect position to hide themselves following him. Oh, my God, are you lifting no weights? Okay, see that? That's like the height of the weight. That's like the stopper bar from the looks of it. He is like listing like either like no weights whatsoever or like five kilogram. He is lifting like nothing here. Like l l nothing at all. He is, oh Christ, that's bad. You can also tell because there's like no, oh, he has no biceps at all. He has like, like, like I said before, he has like Call of Duty 14 year old player arms. There's like no definition here. There's no tension here. He's not lifting big weights. Uh, this is embarrassing. We're actually getting glam. We're trying to get glamour shots of him lifting weights, but they're they're ba they're so bad at filming it that we can see that he's lifting like nothing. Oh my! Oh, I saw it in the mirror there very quickly. There, is that one plate? Is this so? Is he lifting like one kilogram? That's like there. See, that's a stopper there. Like, sorry, that's the top, and that's the stopper down here. So it, this is one plate he's lifting under the top. You can see that. There's one plate there, just under that circle there. See there? The dude is lifting, like, one, two kilograms, maybe at most, with two arms. Remember, this is a two-arm workout here. Oh, my God. That is... You're trying to do a vanity shoot, and it, you're accidentally revealing how fucking weak you are. Oh, God. That's lame. That's so cringe. <laughs> Why are you doing the shrugs? Uh, you can do okay. People, people do, do people do do like the, the shrugs thing, like very minimal movements. But a lot of times you see people doing that is with like quite intensive weights. Um, so you're not doing like full range of motion with it. Um, this is like that. That's like a, a nothing weight. That is, that's going to be like five kilograms or something like that. It's uh, yeah. It's a it's a pre it's a preset weight here. Oh, what does it say there? Why, despite her like filming this in like four fucking K, um, I, ca I can't see this here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to up the bar. I have no idea what that says. Is that 35 kgs? I can't imagine that's too small for 35 kgs. I can't imagine that. That's 35 kgs. That looks light as shit. 35 k kgs, by the way, for uh, for a bar is is still actually a, a very light bar. 
Um, because remember, it's a full, that's a full body exercise, so you're using your full body just to handle 35 kilograms. It's, it's not a hard workout whatsoever. His face doesn't look happy, so it probably is hard, hard for him. Um, but um, I, I was, I was, I'm generally surprised that that something that small is 35 is fairly, fairly compact. Okay. Um, I guess I guess I was wrong. So for him, I guess it makes sense then he's doing the shrugs because for him this is probably as intense as he can possibly go is 35 kilograms. So he's, the shrugs, I guess, makes a wee bit more sense. Imagine doing a vlog about the gym workout uh, and you include a bit where he's playing pool. Like, what's the fucking point of this? Also, please note, uh, no sweat whatsoever. <laughs> the big, okay, the biggest problem with wearing, because uh, I, I used to wear like greys and greens because I like grey and I like green to the gym a lot. Uh, greens really show sweat, really show sweat because they really darken, especially like a light green like that. Greys, light greys I got, really fucking show sweat. There's no sweat on him whatsoever. This is just like, it is really just, it's Chantel really trying to convince us that her boyfriend is cool. It, it, that's that, that's all this is, is Chantel trying to convince us that her boyfriend is cool. And it's like, cool. Oh my god, they even got a sweeping shot in. Guys, guys. Uh, I, I, look, I, I know this is really cool, probably when you're like 18 and you just go out drinking for the first time and there's, there's a pool table in the bar and you're trying to do like cool lean shots and stuff like that. Uh, you guys are like, it's like Chantel's like 40. <laughs> Playing pool really isn't that cool. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. Playing pool, really not that cool. <laughs> you, you, you don't look like a badass. You don't, you don't look like the Fonz or some bullshit like that. <laughs> you, you, just, you just look like some like weedy little guy playing pool when he's meant to be working out. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so fucking cringe. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would the other guy be happy that Ala won if... I'll beat him. Why would Allah, that guy be celebrating Allah beating him? That doesn't make sense. It's almost like, so why do you say Allah? Sorry, because they said Allah. Uh, Salah, why would he be happy with Salah beating him? Is it, is it, is it entirely because like th this whole thing was filmed to make Salah look cool? Is, is that maybe it? Guys, you, you guys are so cringe. Could you not even like have like acted it better at the end to try and make it look like the camera guy is like, oh, damn it, you, oh, I nearly got you. Or something like that. Nope, no, it's just, okay, uh, Salah won. Salah won. Yay, Salah, Salah, you are so cool. You are my man. Salah, yay. It's like, <laughs> come on, it's so fucking blatant. He's here, yay. <laughs> hey, babe. Hi, baby. So how was your workout? I'm so tired. Oh. <laughs> yeah, very clearly. That's, uh, that's fantastic acting right there. Okay, so it's, okay, so it's nearly midnight. There you go. There you go. So that's the time there. Uh, it, it's seven, seven to midnight. <laughs> Uh, God, I hate his steering wheel. I hate his steering wheel. Why is the steering wheel got cancer? This is big, big fucking tumor <laughs> lumps on it. Um, uh, no sweat on him whatsoever, anywhere. Bah. Oh, How was yours? Was great, baby. Good. Okay. Okay, baby, come on, let's go home. <laughs> Yella, let's go. Yellow. God, why? Why do you always film too much? Like it's always the, the the last second of the shot where like the facial expressions drop when they're finished their performance, and he's like, <sighs> his face just instantly fucking dropped. I, I, Chantal, like if you are watching this, this is the one thing you need to w work on. Learn to edit snappier. Like holy shit, you keep showing the last frame of expression, and it always portrays the real expression. Okay. Actually, we can't go home. Fully, we're gonna go home, pick up some things, and then do some beach ASMR for you guys at night. So, subscribe to our. Did she just say BJ ASMR? Am I fucking tripping balls here? BJ ASMR? Is she gonna suck dick? Who's? Probably not Salas. <laughs> like, what the f BJ ASMR? <laughs> what the fuck? ASMR channel for that. Yeah. <laughs> Post exercise sweat glow. Incoming nicely. No, it's it's not. You you, you look sickly. Uh, okay, so that was uh, that was fun. That was fun. It was also terrible. So there's for people who made it to the end of this video, there are a bunch of other videos that have come out that she did uh, like some big rant, like it's 27 minutes long about uh, French fried girl and Charlie. Would you guys be interested in me covering that as well? I'm not as up to date with all of her drama with Charlie and a French fried girl, so I don't know how much I would be able to bring to it. But tell me below if you would be interested in that. Her ASMR, I was kind of tempted to, uh, to do her ASMR. She did like a, a, a fucking 
or, or ordering fast food ASMR, and she also did like a like a, she just posted up like like a skit video about food or something like that. So I don't know if you're interested in any of those. I'd probably do the ASMR and the skit video in one, and I probably would do the franchise girl Charlie thing in another. So if you guys are interested, let me know. But I do hope you enjoyed the video, guys. That's gonna be it. Take care of yourselves now. Bye bye.